Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've been off for a while because apparently dental school is tough and I'm not getting any chance to film any videos, but uh, I'm back because the day we were supposed to do the CAD CAM, um, I couldn't be at school. And so I had my friend go over everything with me and I was able to film it. So in this video, you're gonna be watching me with my friend designing a crown using the CAD CAM machine. And then um, I was also able to film the whole process like staining, glazing, put it in the oven, um, do the whole crown and yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoy it. I'm done with my first year and I'm super excited to start my second year. Um, it was honestly like super hectic. Like every, the first quarter wasn't too bad. It was actually fun. We were kind of transitioning into everything. But then as we started clinic, things got more and more challenging because you have to manage clinics along with your you know lectures and academic and i was actually gonna film a video talking in details about the first year what happened during the first year so let me know if you're interested in knowing more about uop and knowing more about the first year ids class and i hope you guys enjoy the video and let me know if you have any question see you Companies producing their blocks that have different gradients of shades on there. Um, you know, resin blocks. Um, we can invest here. Some of the materials that are out there right now, so plastic porcelain, lithium disulfide, hybrid ceramics, zirconia. You can now mill zirconia. But we're going to um, focus on Emacs. That's what we're going to focus on. With Emacs, you know, it comes in that beautiful. Uh, oh, okay. uh, hello, how are you doing? I'm uh, good, how are you? I haven't seen you today. Hi, how are, how are you? you? So, uh, actually, they shifted me to 3A like, uh -huh. for today's appointment. So oh, you went to 3A? They, they, they're good. tired of him in here. Were you in waiting list? No. Actually, I was doing SRP. Mm. The other person we from the uh, had, had to do uh, some rest for him. So they want that seat, so I said, okay, no problem. Okay, I can that's go there. Good. That's good. Yeah. Not bad. What did you do? Nothing today, it's just in the whole day. Okay. How was the SRP? Oh, pretty good. good. I completed two parts. Now, next time, two. Perfect. So, okay. That's really good. good. Last one, yeah. What do you think? Hello. What's the occasion? What's the occasion? I don't know. You're like fancy. Am I fancy? Yeah. No. <laughs> Your hair is like Friday. I, 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 I just did. Yeah. <laughs> I love the glasses. Oh, hello. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> now you know. Yeah, okay. They're beautiful. Show the halewa, hello, hello. idea is the cementation to go perfectly beautiful. Every single crown that you have inside the magnetic crown, so the closed magnetic crown also gives support to the magnetic value of the fire. Okay, next, apply the base to the piece of surface of the restoration moving from the center present to the casting area. Look closely to ensure the castings have been adequately or with the expense. Once again, we are going to move into one of the glazed coats. I have a steamy brush with a loop of crystal, and in order to make sure that I don't use my materials. too much. So, we are going to enhance the chroma in the cervical area. So, we are going to apply a light 
uh, amount of, in this case, I think is called a uh, sunset or maybe olive. Okay, so we're gonna put a little bit on the brush and apply the small amount of the shade to the restoration. Turn it around, as you can see, I'm doing it a little heavier, just so you guys can see it on the camera. I will clean it later on. I just move on into the incisal uh, area, and that is to imitate translucency. We're gonna apply a little bit of the blue, a little heavier right there, and I realized that it was just too heavy, so I go into the mixture that we make between white and blue, so it will give us some kind of a purple-ish, or light blue incisal or translucency. White on the incisal edges to make sure that it looks like some kind of a helmet. Uh, we have done and we have finished the restoration. So the IPS Emax restoration should be placed on the silicone nitrate firing tray in preparation for the firing. Uh, we are going to use the adequate program in order to fire the restoration. If you guys remember, there was a skinny part on that firing nitrate pin, and that it goes into the firing tray. Open the furnace head, place the restoration on the firing table, and press start. When the fire process is completed, the furnace will open, and after the acoustic signal sounds, you will be able to remove the restoration. And for the next one. This is how the restoration looks like. Now it's not so monochromatic. It has multiple shades and multiple levels of saturation of color. At this point, I would like to finish by saying thank you for your time, and I hope you have enjoyed this recording. I be so you want to be with us? Wait, wait. Oh, you want to push four now? One, two. Wait, no, he has no cover. He's gonna win. Okay. Ah. One, two. Well, he has Okay. So, do one, it, do it, Bill. One, one, two, three. <laughs> I, I won. I won. Why are your phone is still there? Yes. Okay. No, I'm gonna do this. Uh, uh, please kids, repeat. Hey, kids. One, two, three. Why do you do this? Why you, you're a cheater. You, you.